Now, why are we here? I'm tired of the internet. Here we are, 2024. We still doing the same shit we've been doing. Year after year after year. Before I go any further, I am not a Donald Trump supporter, but I'm also not just a Donald Trump hater just for the sake of hating, just to hate. I'm not that either. I'm also not a Joe Biden supporter. I still want my student loans wiped out. That was promised. I was looking forward to that. Um, To my black community, I'm here to talk to y'all. First and foremost, um, these votes are coming up, all right? The presidential election's coming up, all that shit, right? I know y'all keep hearing, it's not the presidential election that's the major election to every one of us. It's your local elections that no one ever goes to. Start trying to get to those, that, all right? Your governors, center, you know, all of those, all of those in your local areas. All right. And then stop doing this. See, I don't know if y'all remember. See, I'm 40 and I can remember as far back as like first, second, third grade. Remember them fake ballots they used to have us go do in the lunchrooms, teaching, getting you prepared to build a vote and shit like that. You know, all that. Um, Many of us have been ingrained since that little yay high that you just go in there and go blue down the board. Well, going blue down the board has you voting for someone like Biden every time. All right. Now, the thing that happened, see, Trump didn't get us a second term because what did they do to Trump? They pushed this narrative that Trump was a racist, extremely hard. And then we get our celebrities who mimic that, who post that, and that's phoned out to all their fans. And then their fans talk about it to their friends and family, and then boom. Everybody's doing the same shit we've been trained to do. Vote for a freaking color. We're voting for a color. We're not voting for who we really feel can make a detrimental change to our lives. We're voting a color based on what's been ingrained in us from the youth. I've been, I was trained to vote blue, to vote blue all my life as well. And I'm not going to lie. I did it as recently as Biden's turn, first term. Blue down the board, rushed, getting off work, caught the last hour of the polls being open. But it was also at that time where I had a whole new revelation. I'm in there and I'm, I'm thinking, why the fuck am I going down this damn valley and why am I only voting blue down the board? And then you have, you have to have a awakening basically. I woke up like, why? We don't ever ask why to anything, right? We never ask why to anything. We just do what you've been trained to do. It don't matter. They can, they could pull Adolf Hitler out the grave, put him on a blue campaign, and that motherfucker has a great chance, a great chance to get put in at president just based on people going in and just voting simply on a color red or blue it doesn't make sense guys we have to be better we have to be better now that that's out the way so the actual business at hand like i said they donald trump didn't get his second trip at the turn because they pushed this racist narrative on him and 
black people bought it. They can sell us anything. We buy damn near anything. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the thing. All right. If Donald Trump is a racist, what the fuck is Joe Biden? Senator Joe Biden. Instrumental in pushing the three strike. Y'all know what the three strike rule was, right? That's on your third strike, you go away for a while. You you have a long bid. No matter how big or small charge you were dealing with, on a third strike, it's a wrap. That was the des destruction of the black home. Started in the 80s, but that was the early 90s when the three strikes kicked in under Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton gets the, the heavy load of it, but it was Senator Joe Biden's bill. Damn. And then we all turned and voted for him. Now, why are we here? I'm tired of the internet. I'm tired of everyone. They see something and then they take it as that. Nobody does their own research anymore. Nobody looks into anything. Nobody's reading on their own. Nobody, it's okay to see something, but we all know the internet is 98% bullshit. 98% bullshit. That whole believe none of what you see and half of what you hear, that's the internet. You can manipulate pictures, you can manipulate audio, you can cut audio, you can cut pictures, you can merge, like it's so much you can do, yet y'all hear something and still take it as gospel. Why? Why? It's frustrating. They say stop scrolling and read. Some of y'all really need to do this. Stop scrolling and read some real literature. Some real books. If you don't know what literature means, <laughs> read some real books, goddammit. Goddamn. Oh, Lord. All right. Now, what I want to talk to, primary point I want to talk about today is Donald Trump predicts bloodbath. Bro. Donald Trump says, if I'm not elected, it's gonna be a bloodbath, all right? And then I was seeing that all over social media. All over social media, Instagram, Twitter. I go in a barbershop, they talked about it. Oh my God, grocery store, friends, family. Like, baby mom, like, what? They're all talking about it. Donald Trump says it's gonna be a bloodbath if he doesn't get elected. Like, motherfuckers like, I'm finna go buy some guns and shit. Like, and this is before I ever like heard the actual speech because I realized from being an avid Kanye fan, I realized what they do to Kanye is the same shit they do to Trump and anyone like them. They like to take out the small clip, ignoring the context on the left and the context on the right of the small clip, which would actually make it make sense. They actually did it with Kanye when he made his, his, his comment about slavery was a choice. He wasn't exactly saying that because, but the context is erased from both sides and all you get is the, the media clip, right? All right, so Trump says this. I don't get elected, it's gonna be a bloodbath for the whole, that's gonna be the least. I if I don't get elected, if I don't get elected, is gonna be a bloodbath, and that's gonna be the least of y'all's worries. That's all, that's that's the clip. That is the clip. If Donald Trump doesn't get elected, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Well, where am I going with this? Well, if you do anything but search social media you know words have more than one meaning right huh okay 
Okay, okay. Now, my guy Royce the Five Nine, phenomenal artist, phenomenal artist. All right. Um, I felt like he came out the side of his neck with this right here, though. All right. So Royce says this. Question to all black and brown folks who support Trump. Again, I'm not really a Trump supporter, but this that singles us out, black and brown. I'm talking to y'all. Royce of 5-9, talking to y'all. Black and brown folks who support Trump. All y'all rappers. He's a rapper, by the way. Great one, awesome. A bloodbath, in quotations, quote, bloodbath, unquote, means a lot of blood will be spilled. One definition. Whose blood do you think he has in mind? Just curious. Again, this is no slight at Royce at all. I fuck with Royce. I, I love Royce heavily in the music. Royce is one of, usually one of the more enlightened ones. So I, I'm kind of surprised. This was the stance he had initially, actually, as well. But um, bloodbath. Yes. The one meaning that, especially of our community, especially with the uprise of drill music, bloodbath means exactly that. Blood being spilled in large amounts. Blood baths was usually referred to in the war age, basically. War times where it's just blood spilled everywhere. So it's basically just a lot of blood. It's carnage. It's chaos, right? First definition. However, however, y'all can't really see that. So I, 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 I blew it up for you. Blood bath. It's a noun. <sighs> the first definition of bloodbath is what Royce was alluding to. Black and brown people's blood being spilled. Whose blood do you think he was talking about? If I'm not elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Whose blood? All right? A great slaughter is what that refers to. But if you have done any reading and if you've done anything outside of listening to music and watching fucking TV over the fucking years and done any amount of reading and research, maybe if you jumped into the stock market like I have, this is where I am more familiar with the term bloodbath. This is why I understand that bloodbath does carry another meaning. It still means bleeding out, but it doesn't, it's not literal to bleeding out. It means just losing something. Okay, so we come down to bloodbath second definition A. A notably fierce, violent, or destructive contest or struggle. It gives you an example of the definition. The campaign. Who and what the hell is Donald Trump running right now? Is it not a campaign? Okay, he's running a presidential campaign. Okay, a, the campaign has become a bloodbath. By that definition, what is he saying? It's become a struggle. A destructive contest it's hard basically they're fighting in the campaign but hold on hold on because to be of this definition is the exact definition that Donald Trump was referring to A 
a major economic disaster. This is where the context before and after, if I'm not elected, is going to be a bloodbath, becomes very important to the subject matter, okay? It gives you an example. I told you I got into the stock market. This is where I'm more familiar with the term bloodbath outside of the Negroid version of bloodbath, okay? A market bloodbath, that means your shit went from green to red and it happened drastically. A lot of people know about that because you lose money when that happens, if you close out. You only lose money when you close out, by the way, all right? So you have your stocks and shit like that. It's doing good, it's doing good, it's doing good. Something happens. A war starts. Some bad news comes from somewhere and everything goes down. The market is bleeding. It's a bloodbath, okay? Economically, people are losing money. <laughs> it's a bloodbath, okay? Now, let's go back with those definitions in mind now, let's hear what Donald Trump really said. What he really meant by bloodbath. And then you tell me which definition do you think he was more referring to? Definition one, a great slaughter, or definition two, re re regarding campaigns and economic hardship. You be the judge now. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President China. Xi, you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal. Those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to... Pause. So, on the left side of the, of, on the left side of the statement of the bloodbath, He's, regard, he's speaking about these big car manufacturing plants being built by China in Mexico with the intent to then take those cars without hiring Americans to do the work to build the cars and then send them over here to sell them to us. That's the left side. Now let's, let's keep going. Get that. You're going to not hire Americans and you're going to sell the cars to us. Now we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car. We're going, he's at this point, he's saying we're going, if I'm elected president, we are going to put a hundred percent tariff. I mean, we're going to charge you to send it over. You're going to pay. All right. If I'm elected president, this is what's going to happen to combat that left side. Let's go. That comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those guys. If I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be... And he goes immediately into, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. So he just laid the root work that they're trying to do this. They think they're going to just come over here and they think they're just going to prosper and profit off of, off of us being the Americans. And I'm letting you know, if I'm elected president, it's not going to happen because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 100% tariff on everything they send over. All right? But if I'm not elected be a bloodbath It'll be if a blood i get bath. elected now if i don't get elected it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it it's going to be a bloodbath for the country that'll be the least of it if that'll be the least of it it's going to be a bloodbath for the country all right let's get to the right side of it. this election if this election isn't one i'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country does that make sense I don't think you're going to have another election in this country if we don't win this election. I don't think he goes right back into talking about politics and the economy and the American country itself. If he's not elected, he feels that him not being elected and with 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 China trying to do what they're trying to do, that is going to create such an economic hardship across the United States. That's what he means for everyone, not just black, not just brown. Across the United States as a whole, as one. 
right side of the of the country. I think you're going to have another election, or certainly not an election that's meaningful. And we better get out, or we better. I actually say that the date. Remember this, November 5th. I believe it's going to be the most important date in the history of our country. I believe that. This man said said nothing and meant nothing. Nothing on the lines of black and brown people being at the mercy of people going crazy in America and taking our lives in a bloodbath. It wasn't even close to remotely implied when you get the context in full on the left and the right side of the bloodbath comment. All right. Now, just since I'm here, I just have a couple of throw-ins for the hell of it, basically, right? As I said earlier, Donald Trump got the rap that he was a racist. That's that was the that was a smoking gun to get the black people to go against him, basically. In the last election, basically. I, if y'all aren't paying attention, why they try to take this different angle is because they realize that that angle isn't working this time. Yeah, I've I've looked through X, I've looked through Twitter, I've looked through, and I've seen people comment like, "Y'all not getting us with that shit again." Y'all got us then. Y'all not gonna get us the same way. So then they try to pull this. Oh, it was gonna be a bloodbath. He's gonna. He's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. Oh, he's trying to put out sneakers to get close. Like, oh yeah, none of that shit's gonna work. None of that's working. Y'all gonna have to come with something harder. And that's why they start trying to get it. Oh, he, he, he can't run over here, well, man, look here. <laughs> hey, so, I remember I came across something a long time ago with Judge Joe Brown. This is, I think, around the first, around the first. Judge Joe Brown, notable black judge, basically. He's asked, Donald Trump a racist. Is Trump a racist? I don't think so. I have talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s, were early 90s, were trying to get financing. They could. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave him a term loan, show up with the interest in the principal, one check, but they had to go see him first. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? Said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands and congratulations, now run your business. And this was when? This was back in the 90s. <laughs> see, most people don't even know this. He had a sister. He was... Every time you saw him back in the night, his fine paper bag, brown, beautiful black model. He likes fine women. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. So, I mean. Now, the thing, the black woman part is, is not really where I was going with that. Yeah. You know. Uh, the Moners used to rape black women back in the day. That, that really don't mean anything, okay? I'm, I'm fully aware of that. However, however, the first part of that, that he would give you a loan, and when they come back to pay the loan, rips it up and just tells you to go run your business. That does not have the makeup of a racist because I have you tied into this loan you're gonna pay me back the loan and some so he basically just gave out free money to to black startup businesses because the banks wouldn't loan them the money they couldn't get the money there so that's that right that's Judge Joe Brown dropping that knowledge and then I'm gonna end y'all on this Again, unfortunately, Royce is part of the media. Has a million followers, great music. He can put a lot of messages out and can get a lot of response from it. 
That's why I implore our celebrities to be more cautious about what they're saying and how they're saying it because y'all know the majority of your fan bases They're dumb. Huh? They're dumb. Uh huh? They're dumb. They don't think for themselves. They believe what you say. They believe what they see. They believe what they hear. They'll go talk about what they see. Go talk about what they heard with no type of facts behind it. They're drones. Okay? So when you put out certain messages like this, they run with that. That's what they run with, okay? Again, how we got here, bloodbath. Two definitions. When you come into certain realms, realms, and you start dealing with different people, you have to open your mind up to a different way that certain words are used. The way that you are accustomed to using that word may not be the same way that it's used over there. It's the same word, but there is a different meaning for the word, all right? Now, I'm aware that us black and brown, majority heard that and majority instantly thought, oh, it's about to be a war. It's about to be blood everywhere. Motherfuckers gonna be dying. Let me go, gotta go get these guns up, get some more ammo. Like, everything was stuck. I was seeing all type of comments all over. The, it wasn't just Royce's page, by the way. That was just the first, first one I could remember to pull up. It wasn't just Royce's page. It was everywhere. We have to be better than that. All right? Now, the great Malcolm X, we're going to end with this. With skillful manipulating of the press, they're able to make the victim look like the criminal and the criminal look like the victim, right? Please, my brothers, my sisters, please. Please start using your own minds. Please. Put down the fucking phone to pick up a fucking book or something. Start reading a little bit more to open your minds back up because your shit is so closed off in this social media induced world that all you social media, social media, social media, wherever you at, pop, pop, it's everything. And it's all nothing but drama and bullshit. They sell you drama and bullshit. Cause that's what the media does to control your minds. And y'all keep falling into the same shit. Law.